Hey, what's up team? It's Sherman here from Geek Psychology. This video is on some locations within the Kingdom of Eight. I've done an Enneagram video about the Kingdom of Eight before. I've changed some things because that was like a year ago or so, maybe a half a year when I started making those. So this time I'm going into it more, building some out, building out some locations and trying to kind of fill it out a bit, you know? And with that, I've made 10 locations that will fit into the game uh, land that I'm making, the game world, all right? And so I'm going to be explaining those 10 locations and hopefully you will get a feel of what the type eight is dealing with in kind of an internal uh, metaphorical landscape of it, I suppose. This is my understanding of a type eight. I am not a type eight. I have a type eight friend and I've read a lot about it. But you know, if, if you have other opinions, please let me know if, if uh, you're an eight and you're like, that's not quite how I feel. I will take that in and see if it gels with what I'm trying to do. And hopefully it does. And if other people feel the same way, then that's going to shape the land that I'm trying to create for this game. First of all, like the, the motto of the Type 8 Kingdom is peace does not exist without justice having cleared the way. It's very much about justice, getting vengeance, I suppose, for what has been happening before, what happened in your past, and how you have been wronged. There's a lot of feeling of, um, you know, bad things have happened in the past, and because of that, you realize that you need to be strong yourself, and you need to toughen up, you need to take control of your life, and in order to do that, sometimes you have to assert yourself, you have to be a little bit, um, I don't want to say aggressive, but let's say bold. <laughs> so some of the general traits are, for example, bold, opinionated, decisive, honest, straightforward, direct, um, truth seeking, and a little rough. Um, doesn't necessarily always come with tact. It can, people can work on themselves and they can improve. But those are the general traits of some of the um, citizens and civilians within the Type 8. I have taken a lot of these ideas from Sparta. I've shifted some around a bit, but it seemed to fit as a Type 8 culture. So the physical description, I thought of it as a heavily fortified city with massive towers and walls protecting castles and manors and farms. And so for the belief structure, I feel that eights believe that in order to protect themselves and their loved ones, they need to be strong and they need to be able to and be willing to meet conflict head on rather than submit. And this belief permeates the society and the culture. So you'll see a lot of that within the type eight. And the main goal of this kingdom is to gain more control over their destiny by crusading for Arindus, which is a local god of vengeance. Um, and th this also comes out within the monster ability. So I don't know if I'm necessarily going to keep that they're crusading for that god or not. It could be justice. Maybe the god of justice is better. A another goal for them is to restore the kingdom as a compassionate center of authority and respect throughout the world. So there is that genuine and, and softer side of the type eights and of the kingdom. They're crusading out there because they want vengeance and justice. And by doing that, they're going to restore their kingdom. They're going to actually be able to help other people out and protect those underdogs. And um, also the some rituals and traits and habits and stuff. Uh, eights systematically remove weakness from their culture through the right of power. All right, so let's talk about the 10 locations Number one, the Templar Order of the Truth Seekers are holding a banquet for the town and there are many tables set with lavish displays of food and drink. So it's a nice big party celebrating their, their job well done, I suppose. Um, I, I know <laughs> type eights do like to party hard, not all of them, but like to party hard after 
success. There's another one kind of about that later too. And also another location, the eight version of the Statue of Justice. So it's this fully decked out in armor, massive statue with this huge sword plunged into the ground and holding a scale. <laughs> in the other hand. I thought that was kind of an interesting visual to see in the middle of the city. Uh, another location is the Placid Lake to the east, over towards Nine, east of the main city. People go there to release emotions and stress in peace. Having this massive desire to to assert yourself and to protect yourself and to be strong and toughen up all the time is going to cause you to have this weaker area of emotions and vulnerability within that. I feel that a lot of eights do need that time, that place to go and just let loose emotionally a little bit and, and become vulnerable a bit and not worry too much about it. So I feel that it would be good to have something like that within the kingdom. There's another location, a bathhouse that has become a brothel where the hard workers let loose. So I was talking a little bit about that before with the Templar Order of the Truth Seekers. They're having this massive banquet. And also there's this bathhouse that is doing the same type of thing. It's you've worked hard. It's time to to relax and have fun and enjoy life. And eight has this lusty nature to them too, where they just, they want to possess things and that can kind of be seen within this. Another location is the altar of the right of power. This is where they sacrifice their innocence and vulnerability to connect to strength and power. And there's a circular pit filled with water and there are these three large finger-like um, curved spikes that are cradling the, the pit of water. Um, so I, in my mind, it's, it's some sort of dunking or actual sacrifice. It could be a metaphorical one. It could be an actual one. Not really sure where that should go, how dark we should get. Uh, but it's, it's looking like the theme of this game is going to be dark. So it would be, we're going to sacrifice the weak because that is going to keep us strong, like in Sparta. Another location is the Colosseum, and this acts as a place to show off feats of strength, plays, hunting, acrobats, and even executions. So justice and feats of strength, showing yourself and showing how much you've accomplished and how strong you can be. Another location is one of the barley farms, or I guess on one of the barley farms, and there's an entrance to a courtyard and an altar in the center of the house, and there are a bunch of buildings around, different rooms, bedroom and bathroom, living room, all that type of stuff. And you could have your engagement, you could have the event happen, or it could be around it. But I feel that having a farm showed that sense of groundedness and devotion that a lot of type eights do have to their family and friends and, and that kind of nature. Another location is inside a mine shaft that's built around a river that's flowing underground. Just felt like there's something to do with mining and digging. It could be because my type eight friend likes dwarves a lot and is all about mining in games and things. Uh, I don't know, but it felt like you dro dwarves are those strong, stable, sturdy people that I think a lot of eights want to be. Another location is the wilderness outside where the fields meet the forest of stone pine trees and there's a bear that's roaring um, from his nearby den and ready to defend its home. So if you get too close to that, you gotta fight that dire bear. And the last location is the stone throne of the King Patriarch. And he is the holder of supreme power and he controls basically everyone. And he is respected, but he does demand a lot from his citizens. So he demands loyalty, especially. And past rebellions, which there have been some, have failed against his magic. So he is very strong, he's very powerful, and he demands loyalty. But he is a protector as well. 
So he is protecting his kingdom, but he has those other um, uh, circumstances that come with it. So that is my fantastical envisioning of the Type 8 as a kingdom and some of the culture behind it. I do plan on fleshing these out a little bit more, but I don't necessarily want to take the exploration away from everybody. I don't want to say specifically this is exactly how it's going to be because that's no fun, right? I want you to explore it too. So those are my ideas anyway, and uh, if you have any opinions or counter ideas or whatever it is, please let me know down below. All right, keep up the lifelong questing. Thank you very much, patrons. Y'all are awesome. Good luck, have fun. Peace.